It's called Red Flag, the world's premier aerial combat training exercise. Red Flag is that bar, that measuring stick that every fighter pilot measures himself by. From the youngest wingman to the most senior instructors, preparing for Red Flag takes years. It's the most intense training you will probably see of aerial combat air-to-ground combat that we can do in peacetime to better prepare our forces for war. Red Flag gives elite pilots from around the globe a unique opportunity to experience realistic combat on a massive scale. In the history of Red Flag, fewer than 30 countries have been invited to participate. But it's an invitation few nations would pass up. For the next exercise at Red Flag, an invitation has been extended far overseas to a country that has not participated before. The United Arab Emirates, a small nation situated on the Arabian Peninsula, bordering Saudi Arabia and Oman. Established in 1971 and blessed with an abundant supply of natural resources, the UAE has transformed itself into an international center for social, cultural, and economic exchange. But with good fortune and success comes an increased need for security. For much of its frontline defense, the people of the UAE look to their nation's world-class air force and the elite group of pilots who watch over them from above. Their headquarters is here, at the Al Wafra Air Base in Abu Dhabi, a key facility for international forces dating back to the first Gulf War and home to the UAE Air Force. That's approved, Black Black 5 1. You are clear for low approach for 3 1 left. The Air Force uh, consists of uh, a lot of different peoples. A lot of female members are joining the Air Force uh, right now, and they're like sisters to us. Everybody's working together in order for us to protect the country that we love and uh, we're proud to be from. For the first time, a select group of Emirati pilots and maintenance officers has been invited to Red Flag to represent their country at the world's most challenging aerial combat exercise. Leading the UAE squadron at its first visit to Red Flag is Colonel Tarek al Banai. Red Flag is a very important exercise to the UAE and to other countries. In two weeks of red flag training, you get a combat experience that you only get in wartime. العالم الأحمر مثل ما تكلمنا قبل عن الخبرات وكيف إنك تكتسب خبرات تقابل طيارين من مختلف الجنسيات ومن مختلف الدول وتكتسب منهم ال ال الأشياء الزينة والطرق اللي تقدر تعرف فيها أنت لتساعدك أنت تحسن وضعك أو تحسن قواتك الجوية. It's going to take a lot of uh, work to fly in this exercise. I know it's hard, but we can do it. Aside from their years of experience, the UAE pilots will arrive at Red Flag with a major asset, the F-16 Block 60, the most advanced F-16 fighter jet in the world today. Developed by Lockheed Martin in partnership with the United Arab Emirates, the F-16 Block 60 takes the airframe of a traditional F-16 and supercharges it with extra thrust, new fuel tanks, and lightning-fast electronics. Flown exclusively by the UAE Air Force, it is known as the Desert Falcon. The UAE Air Force, there's a lot of things that they wanted in their airplane that you really don't see from the outside. They were visionary in terms of understanding what kind of capabilities they wanted, and uh, they're finding out it's a, it's a very formidable airplane and something that, uh, that really meets their needs, I believe. The F-16 first started flying in the mid-70s, and the Block 60 benefits from that 30 to 35 years uh, of knowledge. The airframe is just like any other F-16, but uh, we have new radar, new avionics, and uh, with uh, its new capabilities, makes your uh, mission much easier to accomplish. The engine, the whole thing is so unique in this aircraft. 
kicks and you can feel the kick. Out of all the F-16s I've flown, it is absolutely the best. Nellis Air Force Base, Las Vegas, Nevada. The center for Air Force tactics and weapons training in the U.S. And the annual staging ground for Red Flag. Since 1975, pilots from around the world have descended on this base to go up against the best of the best. Nellis Air Force Base is the heart and soul of the U.S. Air Force. It is our harbor. The red flag is raised as the UAE pilots and crew join hundreds of other coalition forces at orientation. <laughs> The Emirati pilots have completed their first mission, but there's no time for celebration. Red Flag is a two-week marathon, and it's just begun. Over the next 10 days, the UAE pilot's skill is put to the test. They team up with other coalition forces in a range of combat scenarios, some stretching deep into the night. After two weeks of simulated combat, Red Flag draws to a close. Over the course of the exercise, the UAE pilots flew 94 individual missions. Their participation is deemed a huge success. They receive a commendation from the commander of Red Flag, General Russ Handy. First time at Red Flag, outnumbered with a very high-tech adversary, uh, did a wonderful job, presented themselves very professionally in the debrief, and I continue to see that uh, out of them every, every time I work with them. Back at Al Dhafra Air Base, life returns to normal for the pilots and maintenance officers of the UAE Air Force. Fresh from their experience at Red Flag, they go back to the day-to-day -day challenges of defending their nation's skies. Confident in the knowledge that they have now flown against some of the best fighter pilots in the world. I would definitely make sure uh, that people in UAE, whether they were a local citizen or non-citizen, as there's people up there protecting you. You can uh, sleep safe, drive, have fun, you're safe in the sky.